Hey, good evening. So, I want to show you something I've been working on here. I'm restoring some uh, old aluminum slot mags. Now, this is the one wheel that I haven't done anything yet, done anything to it. Um, I did three of the wheels yesterday. Uh, the reality is, after I got the video done, it was about 15 minutes long. I didn't show anything that you can't see somewhere else on YouTube. But what I'm going to go over is a couple things I did differently and maybe a couple things I did wrong. But um, I'll show you the finished product and once again, we'll go over some of the things I, I decided not to take the advice of people that more, know more about it than I do. So this wheel is actually in better condition than some of the others. Uh, one of them in particular had a tremendous amount of uh, curb rash around it. This one's got a little bit um, to the point where I actually had to grind it down. So I just used a, uh, a flap wheel. This is probably, you know, I don't know, could be anything from 36 grit, 60 grit, who knows. But it had a little wear on it. And it's, not, it's not too rough. But I... I was able to grind all the real heavy scratches out of the outside of the wheel. Then uh, I used just an electric sander that I had. The reason I used this sander is this is the one that had some fine sandpaper for it. So I used a, a 220 sandpaper. This one's well used. You can see it's clogged up with aluminum. Um, and I, I sanded the, the face where I'd been grinding on it. And I also sanded the inner surface here. You can see the, uh, the marks from the center cap. And there's a burr around every one of these wheel nut holes. At that point, I was looking at the wheels and they had other damage, but I didn't want to get too carried away. These are just going on my car trailer. So after I hit it with the 220 sandpaper, I used uh, some steel wool and uh, that would bring out the spots that it maybe needed a little more work, a um, little more with the electric sander, a little more steel wool. I use a 4 aught steel wool, which is uh, pretty fine. Then I took them outside and I washed them. I used a Eagle One etching mag wheel cleaner, and that was uh, successful. I like it. A couple things, I decided, you know, let's hit the backside real quick and the dirt came off pretty easily. But what it didn't do is remove this tape or the residue from the tape on wheel weights. And I didn't concern myself with it too much until I really started to get things cleaned up. And I came to the conclusion that you can see this through the holes. If you look at it like right here, you can see it in here. So, in the past, in fact, on these wheels, on the outside, they had some uh, stick-on weights. And I was able to use a uh, goof-off to remove the adhesive. It was a little bit of a slow process. And the, this stuff is all over in here. And this one's got one, two, three, four, five. Looks like... Yeah, we'll call it five. It was look. It was turning out to be a a non-productive thing trying to chemically remove it. So I actually took a uh, a wire wheel on a grinder and cleaned the inside of the wheel. Um, I scrubbed it on the outside face. I scrubbed it with the wheel cleaner and some more of the uh, 4 aught steel wool. At which point, it looks like this. And I was kind of determined that I was going to polish these wheels. Honestly, that looks pretty good. It looks a lot better. At least it's clean. It's got some swirl marks and stuff from, the, from my steel wool. But, uh, yeah, a little more care, I might have been able to make it look pretty good. I thought about stopping there, but I was determined to polish them. So, 
The real labor saver is this guy. This is a uh, mother's power ball. It starts out, it starts out red. Um, along with mother's mag and aluminum polish. So the reality is it took a lot longer to get them clean than it did to polish them. And that's the finished product after polish. They're not perfect. Um, there's still some remains of the curb rash here. There's various nicks around. I'm going to say these wheels have probably had a long, hard life. So, I just, it's good enough for my car trailer. Now, if you were going to really get serious, some more, uh, some more sanding would be in order. Uh, most guys recommend wet sanding. Um, I can't really disagree with that. The pitting especially. The, the, the nicks and scratches, I just would have had to work on them. You know, it just would have taken forever. And they're going to be on a car trip. They're probably going to get damaged again. But uh, the polishing is the easy part. But I figured I'd throw this out there. Um, maybe somebody's thinking about doing this with whatever they got laying around. Really comes down to labor. How much time you want to spend on them. So, figured I'd throw that out there. I'm not going to post up the 15 minute video. Maybe you get something useful out of this. Maybe not. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Be cool.